Now I've went ahead and translated quite a few things for you guys. I have omitted a lot of stuff that is unnecessary or just not needed. So uh, with that in mind, let's just see a couple of the screenshots as we scroll down. And um, yeah, now I know you guys are probably waiting to get to the juicy info that is in the title. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so you guys know the drill, we're just going to read through all of it and I'm going to give my thoughts on a few things. Today we have officially ushered in the second anniversary festival. The new character debuts alongside multiple events. This second anniversary, we once again thank you for your support. Do not miss the celebration this year. New Squad Zero character, Senju Maru Shutara. As we can see, she's a 3 star and rank 14, she gets a form change. She might get one before that, I don't know. Senjumaru Shutara is an ultimate type character, beautiful and elegant with perfect artificial limb coordination. Her three skills, Resonant Stealth Hand, Heal Sphere and Ultimate Clothing. Skills with Interrupt, Healing, Paralysis and other effects, referring to Keto skills, for example her uh, attacks inflict bleed. All help to maximize her combat power. Want to be the first one to acquire her? She can be obtained from Limit Duel and will appear in Duel of Fate. So that's great, um, no Owetsu exclusiveness um, game mode stuff. Um, of course, since he's already a boss character. Now here is where we start to get to the juicy bit and I'm actually going to stop after I read this part to talk about a few things. Leech Death Awakening replicates the story of the original series. Character debuts are based on the original plot settings. The Zero Squad team members have assembled. The troops, Sternritters, are gathering in the Van Den Heik, waiting to emerge. Listen closely. In the midst of the second anniversary festival, the Thousand Blood War chapter gradually approaches. Now, um, <clears throat> Before we go any further, I just need to highlight a few things about this paragraph right here. The Zero Squad team members have assembled. Now I don't know if you guys have seen um, Senjumaru Shutara's links, but she actually doesn't link with Hikifune. Now that alone speaks for itself since Senjumaru is a very very new character and if they were planning on including Hikifune in the game, it would only make sense that Senjumaru would link up with Hikifune. Um, Hikifune. The fact that she doesn't is also another kind of fact that proves we probably won't be getting Hikifune in the game as an actual playable character. Not only that but she didn't actually fight much in the manga itself. As far as I can remember all she did was create a cage I believe to trap the enemies in or something like that. She didn't do much. Um, and this right here is another point of confirmation in itself because it says the Zero Squad team members have assembled. So they've already assembled, they're not even including Hikefune in that. So it seems all we're going to be having is Owetsu, Ichibe, Tenjiro and Senju Maru. It seems like those guys are going to be the only playable Zero Squad um, characters. And I am 99% sure of this guys. So it then goes on to say the Stern Ritters a gathering. Now the characters used to describe the Stern Ritters is actually the same characters used to describe in-game characters. So basically what this means is that we are going to be getting Stern Ritter characters which are actually playable which of course makes sense. So since the news states they are gathering we still have more to come. So for those of you guys who are waiting for Basby, Bambietta, etc highly likely that they will be coming into the game sooner than you think. And then we have this weird part where it says listen closely. Now I put your watch in, in brackets because I don't really know who's saying that. Um, it might just be another teaser, you know, because he can see the future and all of that stuff. Um, that's probably the case, just to tease us a bit. And in the midst of the second anniversary festival, the Thousand Blood War chapter gradually approaches. So I know they've been saying this for a while that it's coming soon, it's almost here, etc, etc. But it makes sense that they can't just put this chapter out there so fast, or chapters. Because if you don't have Stern Risses in the game, or at least have um, them as AI only, 
the chapter itself wouldn't make sense because you can't just fight Hashwolf. That that doesn't make sense. So that's probably why they can't just put the chapter out there too early and why they keep on hyping it up even more. So I'm going to guess next week we should probably get more information about um, some new stuff to come. And my guess is also that your watch will be coming out around the Chinese New Year. I believe that's the same time we got Mook and Aizen. It was either the New Year or the Chinese New Year. We got Mook and Aizen. So I feel like your watch will be coming out then as well. That's just my guess though. Moving on. Anniversary events continued. So we should be getting some additional anniversary events to the ones that we already have. And of course, another bit of good information. They say quickly unlock characters and prepare for the upcoming thousand year blood war. So it's basically saying start saving for it. Senji Maru is a very good character, don't get me wrong. And if you guys want to go for her, then go go for her. Um, personally, I would recommend saving since they seem to be hyping this chapter up a lot lately. And... If any of you guys wanted any of the stone races, I don't know when they're coming exactly, but I do believe that this news article that they've released basically confirms that stone races are coming. We don't know who exactly, but we do know that a lot of them are making their way to the game. So with that said guys, if you want to see more of these type of videos, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to comment, share and subscribe. I'm out.